This is the best way to design a cyclical drive in Fusion 360 in 2024 or later. And the link I'm using will be in the description. So once you're in this GitHub page by Wooden Caliper, you just want to head to that green little code button and in the drop down menu, click download zip. Once this is downloaded, you can extract it. After you do that, you can head back to your Fusion 360, go into the scripts and add-on spot, press the little green plus, um, and then you want to bring up the menu for where you downloaded the file and then make sure you open the extracted file and then drag the file that's inside of the cyclical drive file. Once you do that, select the folder and then it's here. And to run it, double click and then you've got this page here. So for an example, I'm just going to do 21.37 because this is what I did for my cyclical drive that I made a video about. If you want to check that out, it's a full in-depth cyclical drive video and how you can make your own one. And you can go in here and what I do is I just put in every single value, um, select these both and change set about to output disk pin. That's just what makes the most sense to me. And then you put in the pin diameter of the rollers in the pin shaft or the roller shaft or the output shaft, whatever you want to call it. So for me, it was like 4.9. And then this is how far the center of these pins are from the center of the gearbox. So I do 50, I think that works well for me. And you press okay. And then it does literally everything for you drew these out as well so if you want to add tolerances into your cycloid drive just go on the sketch um, on the surface of the cycloid and then press p for project and then click the cycloid area okay and then go into your offsets and you can just offset each uh one manually and i find around 0.1 to be a good tolerance and this could be 0.05 to 0.3 or 0.4 even it just depends on how your 3d printer works and you can just go around and put this on every single pin and then do the same for the actual cycloid itself you could do this on the ring shaft as well but i don't i find that the cycloid tends to need a larger tolerance than some other parts just in my experience with my 3D printer. And once you've done that, just extrude it downwards, and now you've got clearances and tolerances in your cyclical drive. So another really important factor when you're designing cyclical drives is to have a second cycloid 180 degrees out of phase to the first one. And having two is really important so you can counteract the vibrations from one to another. Otherwise, you'll have the biggest vibrator you've ever seen in your life. So to do this, you just want to start off by copying and pasting the first cycloid. I rename it to cycloid two. And then once you've done that, you can drag it up it doesn't matter where your pivot is for this. You can drag the cycloid up um, by however much you want. I like to have one or two mil in between the two cycloids. Then once you've done that, and then once you've done that, you can grab the second cycloid and set the pivot to the center of the cycloid. Remember to click the green little tick after that. And then you can move the cycloid the opposite direction by whatever your eccentricity is multiplied by two. So for me, that's 1.37 times two. And then that moves the cycloid over here. But then you'll find it doesn't align with the ring shaft. And to fix that, you've got to rotate the cycloid 180 degrees uh, divided by whatever your reduction ratio is. So for me, that's 20, which moves the cycloid so it meshes in there. But then you'll realize that it doesn't align with the roller shaft pins. And I don't know if this is only an issue with the reduction ratio that I chose. It might not be an issue for you, but if it is, just follow what I'm going to do now. So just click OK and then isolate the second cycloid and then create a sketch on the surface and pull out a circle to so it's just past the ring, the roller pin holes. Once you've done that, extrude it out to the bottom, cut and then bring up the sketch again and extrude that same shape out. But when you do that, click a new body so that now you have two separate parts of the second cycloid. And now what you want to do is bring everything else back and then you want to grab that little second part that you just made, set the pivot again, 
uh, click the green tick and then rotate it negative 180 divided by the reduction ratio so now it's in line with the roller pins and it's in line with the ring shaft so now select the two separate parts of the second cycloid and then combine them so now you've got two cycloids both 180 degrees out of phase to each other so that's about it for starting off a cycloidal drive design if the video helped you out just make sure to leave a like it'll really help me out and if you want to know more about cycloidal drives i have a pretty in-depth video on my channel if you want to check that out